G'day guys, how's it going? My name's Nick, and this is my channel Low Range Nick, where I do videos about four-wheel driving, accessory fitting, and maintenance for your four-wheel drive vehicle. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to fit a iDrive throttle controller to your four-wheel drive. All right guys, so I'm just gonna do a little bit of an unboxing for you now of the iDrive unit, and just show you exactly what things you get in the box. Just take the lid off there, you get a little iDrive sticker. Under here you get the actual iDrive unit. And if you lift this up, there should be some uh, wiring behind it. Take that out. And so we've got the actual wiring section that goes into the accelerator pedal. And then it comes up to this little plug, which goes into here. And then that takes it up to the control unit that you mount on the dash. Also got a little surface wipe here, just for uh, cleaning your dash before you stick the iDrive unit on. A couple of zip ties, and then just a uh, little installation manual. Okay guys, so the next step is to grab the unit and undo the wiring. And now have a good look around the dash on your vehicle and try and find the best spot to put this. Now, you need to note that the wiring does run off this side and it can't really be changed. So it sort of suits being mounted on the right side of the dash more so than the left, unless you're gonna mount it sort of upside down or on an angle sort of thing. So it really suits being fitted to the right side of the dash more than anything. Um, so just find the best spot, uh, you know, that's really accessible for you, uh, where you can see it and use it quite easily and uh, then we'll start by just mounting this first. So guys, I've spent a little bit of time just trying to figure out exactly where I want to put this because uh, there's a few options, um, but none of them are perfect. So I've decided to go with just covering the bottom of the traction control button like this. Um, so it'll sort of mount there. Um, so the traction control button's recessed, so it's not gonna sort of stop me from using it or anything. It just means I'll just have to touch the top um, section of it. Uh, so I think if I mount it there it'll be sort of the best place to put it in terms of like visibility and if I need to change it on the fly like sort of while I'm driving or you know just to be able to access it quite easily. Um, there was a few other options sort of down here but it you know it sort of hung over other buttons and the hard thing was trying to find somewhere actually completely flat to mount it but I think I've decided on mounting it here so I'm just going to grab the uh, alcohol wipe. I'm just going to clean up that section around there to get any sort of sticky residue off or you know, anything that might stop that adhesive from sticking. So I'll just wait a couple of seconds just for that to dry. You can see now it's sort of a it's sort of evaporating and just drying itself. So that's completely dry now, it only took a couple of seconds. So now I can start uh, taking the adhesive off the back of the iDrive unit. If I can do it without fingernails. Yep, there we go. Now it's got a nice uh, sticky back. I can uh, stick that in position. So I'll just try and mount it as straight as possible. Not overhang that button too much. a good press and make sure that adhesive is definitely uh, bonded to the plastic. And there we go, that's uh, stuck on really nice. And so the wiring will quite easily sort of run down the side here and down the back. So now I can just feed this wiring just down beside the steering column and uh, down into the footwell. So for the next part, we just grab the uh, other section of wiring that was in the iDrive kit and uh, put the front seat all the way back as far as it'll go, just so you can get easy access underneath the dash to the accelerator pedal. And uh, now we'll just go ahead by taking the accelerator pedal plug off the accelerator pedal. Okay guys, so we're just underneath the dash now, just having a look at the accelerator pedal. So if you just follow that pedal up, you can see that wiring plug there on the top. So I'm just going to take that wiring plug off, this one up here. 
So usually on these plugs, there's a little clip on this side. So if you just grab the plug, squeeze the clip in and pop the plug up, it should come off quite easily just like that. So that's the plug there. So you can see the little clip there you've got to push in. So when you push that in, it just releases it off the lug and then you can pull the whole plug backwards quite easily. So now that plug's off, we can gain access to the uh, socket on the accelerator pedal. So now we just grab the uh, plug that was supplied with the iDrive kit and just line up the little retaining lock. And you just push that into the top of the accelerator pedal socket, just like so, until it clips down. Just make sure it's clipped in there properly and it's actually locked in. Now all we need to do is grab the uh, factory plug here and pop that on the top of the iDrive wiring unit, just like so, and clip that in. So you can see the accelerator pedal module here. This is the little iDrive adapter. And then on top of here is the factory accelerator pedal plug. So it just basically links in the middle there. So now we should have these uh, two plugs sitting in the footwell. One from the actual iDrive unit, and then the other from the accelerator pedal. So all you need to do now is grab these two plugs, line up the little retaining lug there with the clip on this side, and then just pop it together like that. So all I've done now guys is just uh, tidy the wiring up a little bit. So I've just uh, tucked it down behind that little plastic kick panel there. So we're just going to start it up now. Now you can see when it first starts up the unit it's got the two dotted lines. Now that means that it's just retaining the factory settings and this iDrive unit isn't doing anything. So what we first need to do is we need to set whether the car is a manual or automatic. So by holding the mode button down for three seconds, it will bring us up with this menu. So you can see how it's saying 88. So 88 is for the automatic. Press the set button and that'll say 00. So that's set for a manual car now. So this is an automatic, so I'm gonna leave it on 88 and uh, I'll show you through the rest of the settings. So now we can just have a little bit of play with the iDrive settings. So if we press mode, the first setting that comes up is economy. And so that's our economy setting. So that will basically make the throttle control a little bit less pronounced and it's good for off-roading or if you're sort of just cruising along the highway and you want really smooth throttle response. So now we can go through the settings, so right up to uh, 9, which will be the top economy setting. So if we go out of that, we can go to ultimate. So the ultimate setting is basically like full power, or like gives you the most throttle response. And just like the economy setting, we can go through and change the sensitivity of that. So if you put on ultimate 9, it is going to be are very sensitive to your throttle uh, input. So if you put your foot down just a little bit, it's going to take off a lot more. So we can also put it into automatic control. So the automatic control basically just monitors your throttle input and it automatically um, outputs what it thinks you want. So I think I'll probably just leave it in ultimate but maybe ultimate two, three or four. Um, but I'll just take it for a spin and uh, see how it goes. Okay guys, so let's go for a little drive and just test out the uh, throttle sensitivity now. So at the moment I've got it in ultimate two. So it should be uh, well, a lot better. <laughs> that is way better, jeez. Uh, it's quite smooth and as soon as you put that pedal to the floor it's taking off and it's going so it's actually a lot better <laughs> and I think a lot safer as well probably um, because when you put your foot down now it's actually going somewhere well guys thanks a lot for watching uh, this video is all thanks to Coolum Motors on the Sunshine Coast now this has been like a 10 minute installation and you know, once you find out where to mount it which is the hardest bit it takes you know a couple of minutes just to put the plug in plug it all together and hide the wiring away and you're all good and it makes uh, an immense difference uh, in throttle response you can 
feel the difference as soon as you drive off down the street and uh, you can constantly change the settings to whatever you wish or you can leave in automatic control and let the unit uh, do its own thing. Well, thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you're not already subscribed to my channel. Uh, I'd really appreciate it. And uh, if you want to see more of the uh, Suzu MUX build up, uh, stay tuned because there's going to be a couple of big modifications coming up very soon and also uh, more off-roading as well. Cheers guys.